But I think a lot of women don't realize how special they are. And it took a while to figure that out because a, a girl's self-esteem peaks when they're nine years old. That's just a shocking and disturbing statistic. But realizing it can transform your life like it did for this mom and business owner. I'm Diane Mocha. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior, where we help you stop stressing out and judging yourself so harshly by watching stories of other moms who have just as many flaws as we all do. Jamie Ravel is one of those women. She got a degree in history, made a name for herself in the college softball world, and started her own business selling Mary Kay cosmetics all before she was married. But after she had her two children, her needs seemed less important and her confidence suffered. It's almost like I had to rehabilitate my self-esteem. Motherhood was taking a toll until Jamie made a change. We have no family close to us. So I did, after the first year of struggling, finally decide to have some in-home care a couple times a week. After Jamie hired a nanny and a business coach and connected with her mentors at Mary Kay, she began to regain her self-worth and find her own version of work-life balance. It was a learning process. There were times I was like, what am I doing this for? And then now it's just, I've learned peace. Like I've really learned to have a peaceful harmony between both. So it was a learning curve, but it was worth it. Now Jamie's self-confidence guides all aspects of her life as she implements hacks that make her days go more smoothly. So learning what battles to pick and what battles to not. What mental load could I take off? There are systems in the home, so our house is very systematic in how it runs. So um, if there's a breakdown and I'm not getting home, dinner still gets on the table. So that sounds pretty magical. <laughs> how does that happen? I am a freezer meal aholic now. I love it. I take two hours at the beginning of every month and I plan to sit down and plan out our grocery list and plan what we're going to make and then I drive an hour to Sam's Club because we live out in the middle of nowhere and I get everything. Like we budget and we spend a ton of money but then that's the grocery trip for the month other than here and there or pizza night or whatever. So it's stopping like a lot of women won't just stop, but it's stopping the hecticness to sit and plan. So I do a lot of planning time. Jamie also recommends moms like you plan specific things that make you happy. Every month I schedule in playtime first. So things that are gonna bring me joy that I look forward to, I schedule one thing a week and then I plan my family and God time and then I plan my work around all of that and it, that creates energy for me. So I have stuff to look forward to. My nail appointments are scheduled for the next six months. So I schedule my life around my nail appointments because that's like my time. And it's silly, but it's not. Like, so that's, and I find women have a hard time doing that, that part. And I'm a better mom when I have those moments to myself. And I think it's teaching my kids too, like take care of yourself too, so then you can take care of others. And when unexpected problems arise, as they always do, Jamie now has the self-assurance to put it all in perspective. I've learned to really stop if I'm getting triggered to say, is this going to matter in five years? And that has really helped me a lot. And I don't really get overwhelmed. I really relaxed. Kids have really chilled me out a lot. So, but again, it took a lot of personal growth and that conscious effort of knowing when I'm going to get triggered and getting ahead of the issues before they start. So it's a lot of being proactive. Jamie's trust in herself has even led to success in her business we could live on my income if we had to and that's what I'm working towards too. He has a great job now but if he something happened to him I, I could support our family with the same lifestyle we have. So it really is the sky is the limit. I think where people are skeptical is when they're told you can just make all this money without working. It's work but if I'm gonna work really hard I'm gonna choose when I work. Jamie says women can reach their goals by looking inside rather than comparing ourselves to others. Find out what is awesome about you and own it and don't feel bad that you feel good about that. And once you understand really what value you bring to the world and to others, you will take care of yourself because if you're not, you can't give that gift to other people. You can't give other people energy if you don't have it. And you stop seeing other things as competition or other women as competition or whatever as competition. Like you just feel, it really is corny, but you feel the love everywhere. So it's great. So. <laughs>
I also want to spread the love by sharing this playlist full of working mom stories with ideas and inspiration to help you be a calmer mom. And I'd love to read your comments. So share how you boost yourself up when you're feeling down. And don't forget, spread a little of your own love to another mom who needs it.